Hello, kindergarten, first and second graders. Welcome to our third, no, our fourth virtual music lesson. Wow, time flies really fast. This is our fourth one, that's crazy. Last week, we talked about a man named Charlie Parker because we are still in the month of April and April is Jazz History Month. And so we are talking about famous jazz musicians. Uh, you might remember that uh, Charlie Parker was known for uh, writing and performing bebop jazz music, which is a, a, a type of jazz where uh, the, the tempo is pretty fast, but it's not necessarily meant for dancing like you would in swing music, where you swing around and the couples dance and they, you know, their feet are flying up in the air and all that stuff. It's not meant for that. Um, it's really meant, mostly meant for listening and appreciating. And you may remember that he played the saxophone. That was the instrument that he performed on. And his nickname was Bird or Yardbird. Um, and a lot of jazz musicians, remember we talked about how they have, some of them have pretty funny nicknames. Um, and he wrote music based on that nickname. He wrote a piece called Yardbird Suite. He wrote a piece called Bird Gets the Worm, because birds like to eat worms, and Bird of Paradise. So he embraced that nickname. To go along with that, I wanted to share this book with you that I absolutely love. It's called Charlie Parker Played Bebop. Now, it's really meant to be sort of sung. And a couple of things that I want to bring to your attention before I read this to you. So again, this book is Charlie Parker Played Bebop, and it's by Chris Roshka. Um, there's going to be some, uh, like a mixture of things in this, in this book. Uh, there's going to be a song that's in there with actual words, and then there are going to be words that make no sense. Um... And then there's going to be words that are just completely made up. And that's the jazz way. A lot of times uh, it's called improvisation, uh, where you just kind of make stuff up in a split second and you just do it. Um, and there's also something called scatting. Scatting was made famous by someone that especially my second graders have learned about. Ella Fitzgerald. Remember second grade when we did that song, Tisket a Tasket, My Little Yellow Basket? That song. Uh, so that lady, Ella Fitzgerald, made scatting famous because she could scat like crazy. So you will uh, notice some made up words that aren't actually words. Like, what is that? It's scatting. Uh, so I'm going to read this book to you, or I'm going to sing it to you, whichever you prefer. All right. Charlie Parker played bebop. Now I'm going to sing the song to you the way I learned it. And then I came across another recording of the song that I'd like to play for you. That's also very interesting and I kind of like it. Uh, and they do it a little differently. So here's how I learned this. Remember, ready? All right. Let's see if I can do this holding it up to a screen. Charlie Parker played bebop, bebop. Charlie Parker played saxophone, bebop. The music sounded like bebop, bebop. Never leave your cat alone, play bebop. Bebop, bebop, fisk, 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 fisk. Lollipop, lollipop. Boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba bus stop bus stop zin 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 bobbity bibbity bobbity bobbity bop bang Charlie Parker played bebop bebop Charlie Parker played saxophone nope Charlie Parker played no trombone bebop this music sounded like bebop bebop Barbecue that last bit leg bone play bebop Alphabet 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 al Chickadee 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 chick Overshoes 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 oh Reedy pooty reedy pooty reedy pooty ree 
Charlie Parker played bebop, bebop. Charlie Parker played saxophone, bebop. The music sounded like hip hop, bebop. Never leave your cat alone. You won't mind that I messed up a couple of times, right? <laughs> so, what did you notice about this song? I love this song. I think it's great. And it's so easy to get into. That's what I love about it. So he played bebop. You see a picture of him playing the saxophone. He played saxophone. The music sounded like bebop. Never leave your cat alone? What's that about? Does that have anything to do with Charlie Parker playing bebop? Not really. But you know what? In jazz, you can do random stuff like that. You can throw in random lyrics and it doesn't really matter. And it's fun. Never leave your cat alone. And then bebop, fisk, fisk. What's fisk, fisk? Lollipop. What does a lollipop have to do with bebop? Boomba boomba. Bus stop is another, right? That's another word that they're actual words, but they have nothing to do with anything. Zin zin. That's fun. Boppity bippity. You know what that reminds me of? Probably reminds you of something similar. In the old Cinderella movie, The Fairy Godmother, what did she say? Bippity boppity boo. Bobbity bibbity, bibbity bobbity. It's interchangeable. It wouldn't matter if you decided to change to switch that up in performing the song. You could, because that's jazz. Jazz jazz music is so flexible. You know, like when you do classical music, where you have a big orchestra and a and a conductor, you have to do things exactly the way you're supposed to do it. And there's no room for, uh, you know, doing things your own way. You can't just add a note because you feel like it. You have to do what's written in the music. Whereas in jazz music, you can have words in there like boppity bippity and zin zin. Or you can change it, whatever you feel like doing. That's why jazz music is so cool. I just love it. Bop, bang. And then Charlie Parker played bebop. He played no trombone. Did not play trombone. You see the picture? He's looking at the trombone and he's scratching his head like, uh, what do I do with this thing? Music sounded like bebop. Barbecue that last leg bone. Do you remember? Because what? why was Charlie Parker named uh bird what why was his nickname bird it was because he loved chicken right he liked to eat chicken i love this page alphabet 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 alf chickity 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 chick overshoes 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 oh Reedy. this one i had trouble with Reedy footy Reedy footy Reedy footy re <laughs> so cool Oh, and you see the pictures that go along with it? Alphabet, chickadee, overshoes. Those are pictures of shoes. And then reedy footy. I guess these, these are the little feet. Charlie Parker played bebop. He played saxophone. Music sounded like hip hop. Never leave your cat. Alone. I hope you love this book the same way I do. I just love it. It's so great. Um, next week, I would like to talk to you about this. Oh, before I do that, I wanted to play for you that other version of Charlie Parker. I'm going to include the link to the video so that you can see it. It's gonna play in a second.
Charlie Parker played me back. Charlie Parker played saxophone. The music that sounded like bebop. Never leave a cat alone. Bebop, bebop, dee doo dee doo. A fish, 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 a lollipop. Charlie Parker played bebop. Charlie Parker played no trombone. The music it sounded like bebop. Barbecue the last leg bone. I'm going to pause it there. That was about halfway through the video. Um, so I encourage you to watch the video yourself because it includes pictures of Charlie Parker um, playing with other musicians and stuff. So you might appreciate it. All right. Um, I'll leave that there. Next week, here's the guy that I would like to talk about with you. next week I don't know if you guys recognize that voice if you can guess who that is leave a comment on my Google Classroom all right uh, I'm not going to include the link yet I'll include it next week when I when I talk about him and I'll probably talk about Ella Fitzgerald as well they used to do a lot of things together that guy that you heard and Ella Fitzgerald uh, they made a great team they made a great musical duo. All right. So I'll leave you to it. Have a really nice day. It looks like, is the sun out? Yes, the sun is out today. So try to do what Mr. Barker said and uh, see if you can spend a half hour outside today. Go for a walk, play in the yard, you know, do what you can to get some fresh air. It's going to be really important for you. All right. See you later.